Hey, this is Scott. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial how to hide stitches on a puppet like this. I'm going to show you a couple different fabrics and how to hide stitching on your puppets. First fabric I'm going to show you is Antron Fleece. It's 100% cotton. It's really nice, really easy to dye. A little bit difficult to find. If you search around the internet, you'll find it. But nice, nice fabric because it's really easy to hide your seams and it's nice and stretchy. And like I said, you can dye it with anything, writ dye and all that kind of stuff. And very easy. Very easy to work with. It's the fabric I, I think Jim Henson mostly used. There's also a polyester fleece. Usually you have to get this uh, in the color that it already comes in. It's harder to dye. You have to use special dyes, but uh, real easy to find and it's really cheap. Um, I'm going to use this today just because uh, I'm just doing a little quick tutorial and I don't want to waste my good stuff. Sorry. So first I'll show you a couple stitching examples. I'm going to put the polyester fleece over top of high density foam. And I'm going to get a thread that matches the color somehow. Here we go. Nice. See how there's like a grain to your fabric? You always want to make sure your grain lines up. If you don't line up your grain, even if your stitch is completely invisible, you're still going to see it. So you want to get them to line up. Alright, so. I'm going to chop two pieces up just so I have two pieces to line up and then I'm going to sew them back together. So I got two separate pieces. Now I'm going to pin them down and get them in place. So now they're all lined up nice and neat. So in the beginning I'm going to keep the seam nice and even and clean. And then more towards the end I'm going to get a little sloppy so I can show you some tricks on how to hide it. So this is one of the needles I like to use for corners. It's a, it's a round needle hook needle and this is just a regular old straight needle. So you got your matching fabric, stitch your, sew your, put your needle in there, whatever, you know what I'm saying. It's all kind of basic, tie a little knot on the end. Trim it. Now the scissors I'm using, I use uh, scissors for hair they're really sharp uh, okay so you're gonna stitch tie a little knot go under and then you're gonna go over the other piece and under the other one kind of like a baseball or a shoelace as I noted there and then just kind of tuck it in there and go over and then under the other side. So and you're going to go under. It's just like a baseball stitch. This is the uh, Muppet stitch or the Jim Henson invisible stitch or whatever. It's just a baseball stitch more or less. Try to stay nice and close to the edges. That's good. Uh, try to keep it real consistent too. Just kind of take your time. Don't pull it too tight, but don't pull it, don't not pull it enough. You know, you, you kind of have to feel it out as you're going, but just kind of go back and forth. So, 
I'm going to kind of do it a little bit sloppy and just kind of rush through it so that you can see some problem areas so that I can show you some tricks on how to hide the stitch after. So I'll just kind of go. Usually I hold that other end of the, the thread with my finger to kind of guide it so it doesn't keep getting hooked on the needles that are holding it down the pins, but I'm doing this over a coffee table, so uh, it's not exactly my ideal position. So you can see the line starting to disappear. You can see that you can kind of push it around to hide it. Nice and simple. And if it was in a corner, you would use that little uh, rounded needle, the hook needle, and uh, that, that helps. So here's where I'm just going to get it. I'm going to make it sloppy. So that's good. That's good for our demonstration here. Let's tuck it in, kind of push it around. And uh, you see how far off I'm going from the edge. That's not good. You want to take your time. This is what not to do <laughs> towards the end here. All right, so keep it tied and pin it all down even. All right, so now you got your line. You notice in the beginning it's nice and tight and clean and then towards the middle it's a little soppy. So here's how you hide that. Get some regular old hairspray, spray it up, let it dry a little and then just kind of push the grains around and get, get just kind of disguise it and the hairspray will get a little stiff and it'll hold it into place really good. You don't have to do this because probably for the most part once it's on camera you won't even notice any of that. but that's an easy way to hide it. I like to do it when I uh, just want to get real focused on detail. This is a guy uh, I built. Same exact way. Same kind of fabric. Same everything. The teeth are made out of a, uh, a rubber. But same thing. 